go for it. Got some intercooler piping here. We just finished TIG welding this piece together. You can see that this end's been cut and that end has a bead on it. Um, this bead is to help ensure that this charge pipe will not blow off. The clamp goes behind the bead and as pressure is forced upon it, the clamp will hold against this bead. So we have a smooth edge. The possibility of uh, the turbo boosting and blowing this pipe off is very easy. So what we want to do is run a bead on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this inner edge, make sure that there's no burrs or anything like that. And then we got uh, an actual bead roller here that we bought so we can do people's inner core piping properly. And basically what I do is I go ahead and I tighten this thing up and run a bead, try to run a bead on this pipe. It takes a little bit of work, but a lot of times you can get a good bead going. This cut is not exactly perfectly straight, so having to do a little bit more work than I'm used to. So what we're doing is we're trying to run a bead in this whole pipe. That way when the boost is applied behind this clamp, it doesn't go ahead and blow the pipe off. There's nothing worse than trying to drive your car hard as heck and having a turbo pipe pop off and then you're stuck on the side of the road with no boost and so forth. So I can see if I can get this freaking edge to go. I think I started really, there we go. Got an aggressive bead going. Go ahead and clean this sucker off. It takes a little bit of work. I mean, I am forming metal. So you can actually see that my bead is slightly more aggressive than the one this inner core piping came with. A more aggressive bead equals out to holding more pressure behind it. Um, of course, bead rolling and clamps only holds a certain amount of pressure. If you're running crazy 30 pounds of boost, you're gonna need a lot more than just a bead roll. You can actually see on the inside how it rolled this edge in here. So, if you're doing intercore piping and you cut your pipes and you weld them together and you keep on blowing off pipes, uh, we can bead form people's uh, uh, intercore piping for them so that they don't blow them off.